Que lo que mi gente, what's up, it's your girl Nikki Sparks or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. So yeah guys, today's video is me telling you guys how I managed to stretch my relaxed hair up to four months with no breakage and no major struggle. So if you want to know how I did and want to have some extra tips, keep on watching. You guys know I love my tea. Tea is so much better than coffee. Don't argue with me. <laughs> I have my little notes so I don't forget nothing and I can give you all, all the good tips that worked for me during these four months of me stretching my relax. So, first off, if you're newly relaxed and you've never been relaxed before and you're watching this video, so what is stretching your relaxer? Stretching your relaxer means we are extending the period of our relaxer touch up for more than two months and i would say two months is the minimum depending on your hair texture and how fast your hair grows but two months for me is not enough two months my hair doesn't have enough new growth to actually do a relaxer touch up for me stretching my relaxer will be beyond three months my last relaxer was the 18th of december and i relaxed my hair the 18th of april and if you haven't watched my relax a day vlog i invite you to go watch it i'm gonna leave the link down below in the description box if you're still here with me why not subscribe to my channel what are the benefits of stretching your relaxer so i wrote it down it's important to stretch because it allows our new growth to grow at least one or two inches so that it's visible enough to apply the relaxer and avoid overlapping previous relaxed hair it also helps with the thickness and overall health of our relaxed hair. Stretching your relaxed hair beyond 3-4 months is optional. You have to know your hair. Don't obligate your hair to stretch past its limit because all you're going to do is have a lot of breakage, shedding, and your hair is not going to flourish. Your hair is not going to grow because it's going to be breaking. And on relax a day, you might have a lot of breakage so know your hair you know go little by little if you are accustomed of going two months and a half three months try four months and if four months went smoothly and nothing really happened you can try five months and so on but to me five six months it would be too much because i like my hair out and stretching means a lot of dedication a lot of time consuming and you need to actually like baby the hair to the extent so it doesn't break so let me just give you guys all the tips and what i did to stretch my hair up to four months and have no breakage and it went smoothly so for what's day past two months and a half three months i was doing hot oil treatment my hot oil treatment i would do it with rosemary oil doing hot oil treatment would smooth my new growth and nourish my scalp that was you know the first step on wash day was pre pooing my hair with hot oil treatment the second thing i was doing on wash day is wash my hair with a moisturizing shampoo if you've been following me for a while you know my favorite favorite moisturizing shampoo is the cream of nature moisturizing and detangling shampoo which leaves the hair so soft and moisturized and is a big big plus when you want to have manageable new growth is essential to have a moisturizing shampoo and i also clarified my hair twice a month instead of once a month because the first time i used a clarifying shampoo in years I realized and I've noticed that my hair was softer due to like removing all the excess oils, excess, you know, build up on the, on the scalp. The deep conditioner would penetrate better and do its job way, way, way better. And my hair would feel extremely soft. And I just used the ORS clarifying shampoo. I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen. So I would lather with the clarifying shampoo two two ladders second ladder i would leave it on for two minutes as the instruction says and leaving it on for two minutes on my scalp it would actually scrub my scalp that's what the ors clarifying shampoo claims so 
I was just following instruction and it did work and it also have this nice tingling menthe feeling on the scalp that I really really liked then the third ladder I would use my moisturizing shampoo I would use my moisturizing shampoo because you guys know that a clarifying shampoo will strip all the oils and all the buildup that it have on our hair meaning that your hair might feel a little bit more drier feel your hair a little bit you know like a little bit more rough I would say but once I would do this one ladder with the moisturizing shampoo, my hair would go back to its normal soft state. Not saying that the ORS clarifying shampoo would leave my hair super rough or dry or whatever because it actually states on the on the on the bottle that it actually nourishes the hair as well, even if it's clarifying it, so it doesn't like strip everything away. But to bring back the moisture and the oils and the good stuff i would use the moisturizing shampoo and my hair was feeling feel extremely soft even before applying the deep conditioner so we saw the pre-poo the shampoo and now the deep conditioner so you guys know and if you don't if you're new into the relaxer world because i've noticed I've a lot of new relaxed hair girls and the relaxed hair community so if you're new deep conditioning your hair is so 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 essential is a must like you can't skip that you need to deep condition your hair so i would deep condition my hair with with heat for minimum 30 minutes with moisturizing deep conditioners such as the silicone bamboo but i don't really have i don't have any more so i wasn't really using that because i have like a tiny bit which won't do nothing to my hair that's an option the silicone bamboo and i was using the emergencia the avocado emergencia because it actually says that it diminishes the um, the volume so meaning that it will you know like tame down the the new growth and also a treatment that i started using this year that i really really love that i have to restock because unfortunately it's so small that like two three uses maximum is the as i am elation hydration i hope i said elation the right way elation I will leave the picture i will answer the picture on the screen and you will and you guys will see what i'm talking about so these conditioners will leave my hair so 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 soft and i was amazed and i actually i don't like to do it but i actually had to air dry uh, maybe twice because my mom was busy with work and stuff like that so i had to air dry twice because i don't have the water drying in my in my house it's actually by my mom's so i haven't bought one yet for my house so i really recommend deep conditioning with heat because the heat would actually help the deep conditioner penetrate deep into the hair shaft and do what gots to do to the scalp and bring all the good nutrients to the scalp and to the hair follicles so deep conditioning with heat for the win <laughs> something else that i think is very important too is to make sure you detangle your hair before you wash your hair detangle your hair before you wash your hair because if you go and wash your hair especially like with a clarifying shampoo and you wash your hair with your hair tangled it's gonna be horrible your hair is not gonna cooperate with you it's gonna be a catastrophe and do not do it never do that so detangling your hair prior to wash day is essential detangling your hair when you have new growth when you stretch in your hair it means that you have way more new growth than usual meaning that you would have to take your time with your hair when you detangle, detangle with a white teeth comb and make sure you start from the ends going up and take your time. Detangle by sections is very, very important to detangle by section and take your time. Be gentle with your hair because that will avoid stress, stress in your hair, but avoid breaking. And especially before you detangle your hair, you better moisturize your hair, moisturize and seal. Uh, detangling dry hair just gonna break your hair, so don't recommend it at all. And something else that really, really helped me a lot drying my hair is roller setting, you guys. To me, roller setting is just a must. 
for me, for my routine, roll a satin to me is like everything because it leaves my hair soft, it leaves my hair as if like I blow dried it or something and the new growth is actually, you know, like manageable. Like when I would comb my hair or whatever, like after removing the roller sets, it felt like I blow dried my hair and because unlike air drying, the new growth sometimes this get really tough um, when you detangling your hair and so when you roller set your hair, and you dry it under the holy dryer it makes the hair even more manageable and it's a fact so i had to air dry my hair twice and i roller set it my hair also so i know i saw the difference between air drying and roller setting so roller set is for the win when you want to stretch your hair or in general roller setting is just so good for relaxed hair to comb my hair i would moisturize and seal my hair make sure my new growth was moisturized as well not only the ends but the new growth as well because when you keep the new growth and the already relaxed hair moisturized it will avoid you know like breaking in the line of demarcation because you know dry hair breaks especially if it have two texture you know that is not really cooperating with each other so if it's not moisturized it's going to automatically break the the moisturizer that i was using that really helped on the last weeks of of me stretching before i relaxed my hair was the s curl moisturizer the S curl I've tried I tried it for the first time during my axle stretch and it was game changer especially because you can actually spray directly on your new growth and it actually would soften the new growth it was amazing like I really really recommend the S curl and I got to try the S curl thanks to Hairlicious so shout out to Hairlicious and I avoided too much manipulation because protective styling and that's gonna be my next step. I was protective styling and the protective styling that I would that I would do was quite easy. I would like do the goddess braids with three braids going back or the bun, you know, with a braid in the back going up. And I rather is easy, low manipulation and protective style because I can take it out whenever I want and actually proceed with my wash day routine properly, you know, like making sure my hair is washed properly, deep conditioned properly, everything properly. Not that if you have a braid or weave, it's not gonna work. It's just that for me, I rather, you know, like see my hair, take care of my hair, and stuff like that so that's why i don't really do protective styling with braids or weave even though like i used to do it back in the days but for the style of it not really for protecting my hair i don't rely on braids or weave or wig i've tried wig and i don't it's not my thing i really like my hair out i like to comb my hair when i want to comb my hair so this type of um protective style is not what i prefer my last tip is i avoided direct heat to the max i was roller setting but i wasn't blow drying my hair like i would usually do because when we have new growth heat tools become so addictive because we just want to you know slick down the new growth for it to be more manageable so avoid that i avoided that at all costs <laughs> i'm getting addicted to heat tool while stretching will only damage your hair in the long run the moment you won't see it but when you relax your hair that your hair no longer has so much texture or stuff like that or you would actually see the breakage all the little fly away all the you know like the hair standing you know what i mean oh yeah you guys that was my tips on how i stretched my relaxer for four months it no problem and if you're still here with me thank you i really appreciate it like this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel it's free and on top of that i'm sharing my tips with you guys so why not subscribe and like this video and share it with a friend who would need these tips and in my description box i'm gonna leave all the link to videos that you might also like so you can go check it out or if you have any more tips that you want to share you can leave them down in the comment section and let's chat so let's chat about these tips you know we're never it's never too late to learn new stuff let's just help each other out healthy relaxed hair is a lifestyle period thank you guys for watching see you on my next video Mwah.
बाय